This is Nine News with Wendy Kingston. Good afternoon. We begin with breaking news. There are reports this afternoon that a woman in Mossman, that's on Sydney's lower North Shore, has a bomb strapped to her body. For the latest details, Damien Ryan joins us on the phone. Damien, you're right now at the scene. What do we know at this stage? Well, there's a lot of action here at the moment. There has been for at least the last hour. We've seen fire engines, police cars, police rescue. We believe the bomb squad has also arrived, plus negotiators. We've heard that uh, in, uh, in a house in Burrawong Avenue, no one has actually seen this at this moment, but a report is this woman uh, is in the house alone. She has teenage children. She's married, but is in the house alone with uh, some explosives, some sort of explosives strapped to her body. Um, I've seen, I think, what appeared to be a sun uh, being uh, led down towards the scene. Um, the area has, uh, has uh, somewhat, somewhat of the area has been evacuated at this point. But, uh, you know, everyone is quite shocked here. A lot of people that I've spoken to know the war, uh, are, are just starting to learn what's happening now. So it is a pretty... Uh, Obviously, tense situation, yeah. We're just seeing on our screens at the moment uh, shots from our Channel 9 chopper of the area. Mossman itself, uh, about uh, 10 minutes' drive from the city, it is not an area at all familiar with crime. Mm. No, it's not. And the house involved is a, is a palatial uh, home uh, with water views. Uh, there are, um, you know, the, it is a very exclusive part of town. There's lots of kids getting off school buses. Bus routes have been stopped. And you know, a lot of these kids from uh, exclusive schools, private schools, getting off buses and... Uh, and now, now standing at roadblocks waiting to be picked up by their parents. Uh, look, it is, a, uh, it is a, is it an ongoing situation. Um, as I said, negotiators are on the scene and obviously uh, they're the ones that involved in making uh, contact with the, with the lady. Also, the bomb squad, we're told, is also either here or on its way. So we'll keep you updated as, uh, as uh, anything comes through. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, Damien, we'll cross back to you as soon as we find out more information. Thanks for that. Still ahead on the afternoon news, President Obama beats the debt deadline but warns it's just the first step. Also, the disturbing home videos of JC Dugard's kidnappers and the other girls they targeted. And the school teaching tourists to yodel. Julio! Let's get more now on the breaking news in Sydney this afternoon. Police are right now on the scene at an address in Mossman, that's on the Lower North Shore, following reports that a woman has a bomb strapped to her body. Now, police have blocked both roads surrounding that home. It's believed the bomb squad is now there. They are the latest pictures we've got in our newsroom. Negotiations are taking place. We have our reporter Damien Ryan there. We'll get an update from him in a few minutes' time. There's also breaking news this afternoon in the NRL betting scandal. A fourth man, we've just learnt, has been arrested in relation to that betting scandal. Now, you'll remember that involved last year's Round 24 match. That was between the Bulldogs and the Cowboys. Now, this man was interviewed by police at Maroubra Police Station. That was just this afternoon. He was bailed to appear in Downing Centre Court on August the 25th. Now, we'll have more information on that as it comes into the newsroom. Let's head overseas now. And President Barack Obama has signed legislation which passed through Congress overnight, allowing the country's debt ceiling to be raised. It is far from over, though, as a further $1.5 trillion in cuts need to be found before November.